coverage you can count on begins with a look at national security right here at home. Yep, cybersecurity in the spotlight at Augusta University, and Hannah Latier has the story. You guys are all the future of an army. And the conference was mainly for captains at the U.S. Army Cyber Center of Excellence. Researchers at the university presented findings to them on informational warfare, propaganda operations, and AI. The most interesting thing I've learned is just kind of the survey of how Russia, China, and the United States have been using artificial intelligence uh, in various different ways. It's interesting to see how our adversaries think about these things versus how we think about them. Researchers say foreign adversaries use this technology to target people on social media and create division. We're looking at how strategic adversaries, Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, ISIS, and Al Qaeda, how they try to influence U.S. citizens' decision making processes in their brain. And the way they do that is by pushing out propaganda, pushing out influence operations on social media. Captains were somewhat surprised to hear the impact these kind of messages have on the brain. Disinformation being used against us, but then also how to deliver a message effectively and thinking about, you know, your brain is a chemical apparatus how that works in relation to you know, traditional messaging, I think that's really fascinating and is not something that we thought about originally uh, when we came to this conference today. Events like this help the academic and armed forces sectors work closer together to keep citizens safe from outside influences. So it's really like a collaborative effort for how the United States military can integrate academic literature and theory and our expertise from a non-DOD side into their DOD uh, procedures, policies, and how they operate. In Augusta, Hina Latier, WJBF News Channel 6.